Hello, Sacramento. Hello. How fine is Joe Stevens? Woo! Yeah. Mm. Great. You hearing that guitar at all? Yeah. Hey, Joe, are you getting my guitar? Yes. Come up. All right. Well, hello. It's great to be here, and uh, thanks so much for having me. Like uh, Brian said, I'm, I'm on this West Coast tour. For those of you who didn't hear earlier, uh, the Tiny Fists tour with my partner and our little baby and a uh, fantastic pregnant cellist named Bonfire Madigan. And we're doing the whole West Coast, and uh, so glad that we could get to stop here today to support Occupy Sacramento. So represent, make some noise if you love it. I've, uh, I've been kind of playing this type of folk music for a long time and you might imagine that there's not a whole, there's not a huge giant market for uh, radical queer folk songs from Boston, but you know, I'm supporting yeah. my family on it, so I guess there's something. And, uh, but uh, you know, as you might imagine, I've, I've had the great privilege to get a chance to play at a, a number of different occupying campaigns. Ah, no, Steve, we go. Not only, not only is he an amazing player, but he's a lot smarter than I am. <laughs> there it is. So, uh, I've gotten the chance and the privilege to play at many different uh, Occupy encampments all over the country. And similar gatherings and protests from struggles passed long before this whole hashtag Occupy thing even was <laughs> a thing in countries. But I did also, I was happened to be in New York uh, recording this collaborative album with this hip-hop artist named Spirit Child on the day that the first General Assembly of Occupy Wall Street happened and uh, it was basically just a hundred college kids in a park <laughs> when I got there and they really needed a song <laughs> and they and I had a guitar and a couple people there asked me to play the song that I actually wrote years ago and so I think technically this may have been the song that kicked off the first GA <laughs> year. <laughs> Technically, I mean, it, it was sort of an obtuse moment between when we hadn't actually yet decided to call it a general assembly. It was sort of, you know, the precursor thereof. And uh, this song is called Yabasta, which means enough already. And if that doesn't basically sum up how you feel about the political system in this country, uh, I'm just guessing it does. I'm not even going to finish that sentence, right? Enough already, right? So if you feel that hundreds of years of oppression of workers has been enough, can you yell, Ya basta! Ya basta! If you feel that hundreds of years of sexism has been enough, can you yell, Ya basta! Ya basta! If you feel that hundreds of years of colonization and genocide against indigenous peoples has been enough, can you yell, Ya basta! Ya basta! Ya basta! I love this crowd. This song is called Ya basta. Ya basta! Enough is enough. Say, look at history. The cause of all our troubles, it's not a mystery. There are those whose lives are easy, and there are those whose lives are rough. Now is the time for us to rise and cry out, enough is enough! Borders, enough nations, enough corporate exploitation, enough racist air pollution, enough racist institutions, enough chains and enough cages, and enough starvation wages, enough highways and gas stations, enough gentrification, we won't take it anymore. Yeah, this is class war, we'll fight you in the streets, we won't dance on your defeat, this is your part, one, two, three, Ya basta! You got it? Ya basta! Ya basta! Ya basta! I swear to 
you there'll be a day when your melting pot will boil and you only bring us closer with each war you make for oil each union that you break and each ballot box you stuff brings us closer to the day we will cry out enough is enough greedy politicians enough gender role traditions enough hierarchies enough of living on our knees enough doubting of the planet enough destruction of the earth enough tearing of its flesh to see what the insides might be worth we won't take it anymore yeah this is class war we'll fight you in the streets we won't dance on your defeat yeah basta And all around the world, the people are fighting back Each day another shard of their system starts to crack In Cairo and Argentina, we are raging with our bombs The people are all crying out Enough is enough more an occupation Enough propaganda stations Enough enforced reality Enough police brutality And enough nuclear arms Oh, enough factory farms Enough stolen women's choices Enough silenced women's voices We won't take it anymore Yeah, this is class war We'll fight you in the streets We won't dance on your defeat Yeah, basta! Yeah, basta! Cause enough words have been said, enough songs have been sung, enough protests have been had, enough banners have been hung. We are many, there are few, there is so much we can do. We'll use what we have learned and fight them in our own terms. Because they need us, we don't need them. It's our special labor on which they all depend. They need us to drive their trucks, they need us to shine their crowns, they need us to be the tops. Our comrades down, but what good are all those walls? We don't want to institute them. What good are all those guns? There's no one there to shoot them. We won't take it anymore. Yeah, this is class war. We'll fight you in the streets. We won't dance in your defeat. God basta! God basta! Give it up again for Joe Stevens for, besides being ridiculously talented, well dressed, and just a really nice guy, he's gonna let me borrow his guitar. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of inevitable. In the course of change, sometimes things get broken. This is a mighty fine guitar. I'm honored to play it. Well, here's a somewhat different song. <laughs> um, I'm glad we're like we've got this vibe now together, you know. I, I, when we when I first got here and the sound was kind of wonky and I couldn't tell if anyone could hear me and I, I was getting this sort of blank stare and I was really tired and I'd just been in the car and my baby woke me up at 6 a.m. and all I could think is like. What, has no one in Sacramento ever seen a dude in a skirt before? Like, what the, I thought I was in California, like what the hell is going on? And then I realized it was just the sound, you know, I mean, but man, I, you had me going there for a second. It brought me back to this time, I was on this tour of Florida recently, and uh, I had a day off, and, and this kid contacted me off Facebook and was like, Hey, I saw you had a day off, I love your music, like I really love, like could you come play at my dad's bar, like he'll let you play, and it can be a good gig on your day off, and cool. I'm like, alright, yeah, like I'm game, I'll check it out. And it was in like the middle of nowhere in North Florida, and uh, I dropped my partner and baby off at uh, our friend's house in Gainesville, about an hour and a half from there, and then drove the car out there. And got there and pulled up, double checked my phone three times. That's not possible. I triple checked my phone. And because I was like, well, this can't be the place. This is a biker bar. <laughs> and then I realized that the only outfit I had with me was the sparkly sequin dress that I was wearing from the like LGBT college workshop I did earlier in the day. And I had left my suitcase at the house with Aaron and Susha. And I had to do this gig. So 
So the only way to do the gig was to just come in like guns blazing, basically, you know. And uh, although, if you've ever hung out in a, in a biker bar for any amount of time, the amount of anonymous gay sex that happens in biker bars. <laughs> It's amazing. Anyhow, <laughs> not that I personally indulged in this. I was too busy playing the gig. This is the first song that I played, and from then on, I think we had a good rapport together, me and the, and the bikers. So. This is from my collaborative album I was talking about earlier with Spirit Child from the South Bronx. Everybody in the place thinks I'm crazy. Why is that dude dressed like a lady? I look him straight in the face and say, maybe your old gender roles are pushing daisies. Sometimes dude bros get real shady. Calling me a fag that's sad and lazy Brush my shoulders off like Jay-Z Or smoke some till shit gets hazy Tough with the lungs, but who could blame me? Drinking that box since I was a baby Weird ever since my parents made me Elementary school, they tried to tame me All the other kids made sure I knew That I wasn't like them, like I'm not like you Social punishment ensued So I cry every day coming home from school <laughs> I was dead Sometimes I tried to be like them But the real me won out in the end Forever on the outside Looking in Woo! There you go Woo! You can check out Backtotheroots.bandcamp.com And get a little sample Of some of the music I'm making with Spirit Child uh, we're, It's called Back to the Roots Because we're trying to illuminate How both hip hop and folk music have their roots as being the music of people's struggles, the music of working people, the music of people resisting this corporate BS that now tries to control both of our genres. So, it makes sense to team up and fight back. That's where we're at. Whew, that was a mouthful. <laughs> I gotta take a breath. Sometimes <laughs> I hear it. Ooh. Well, here's another mouthful. It's uh, a bleak, I got a notice in the mail a couple, a couple months ago from the, the international folk singer police and they notified me that I had not yet uh, kind of fulfilled my obligatory duty to write a song about the Occupy movement. <laughs> and that if I did not do so, within a timely fashion I would have my you know, folk singer card revoked. <laughs> and, I mean, that thing's good for all kinds of things. CD apartments, bad parts of town. <laughs> Cars that break down. Yeah, you, you need your folk singer car to make it in this biz. And I wasn't prepared to give it up, so. But then at the same time, I kind of had all these conflicting feelings about what was going on as someone who has tried to be as involved as I can for a while and knows that these struggles have come and gone and we need to really push this one through because we don't have a lot of time. Today's Earth Day, which, you know, one day a year we can remember that, that we don't have a lot of time, I guess. So this song is called The Clock is Ticking, or Their Days Are Numbered. The clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. Is ticking. They say we're all in this together. The 99 percent, but our history's erased. We can never forget. This land's been occupied for quite some time by those of European descent. Colonizers' mind is colonized. Genocidal bent. Will we take the time to learn from the movements of the past? Pacifism is a privilege not everybody has. Will we make the same mistakes as those who came before? Are we ready for the stakes? Is 
ticking Planet's out of time, the climate's changing From some corporations crimes, their days are numbered There's a movement on the rise, we're not afraid now We are finished holding signs The clock is ticking The winter's coming We're a long way from the spring We've learned from Cairo Defenses, everything the rich have armies, but we far outnumber them. We'll come back stronger. Rubber bullets turn to lead. You can't evict an idea. You can't assassinate a dream. You can't co-opt a struggle. All oh, but racism, sexism, egos are toxic And they'll tear apart your movement faster than the cops could While we're on the subject, let's never pretend They serve and protect anyone The one percent of press, we have less and less to lose We have so much to gain We have less and less to lose video of that that kind of went mini viral. It's no Pomplamoose or Laughing Baby, but you know, <laughs> Occupy people <laughs> are, have been posting it around a bit. And I overlaid the, the music with um, images from resistance movements throughout history, from the Gay Liberation Front to the resistance in Palestine to the Zapatistas to the feminist movements and beyond. So check it out. Uh, their days are numbered on YouTube. And uh, I'm gonna play a couple songs off of my CD, Never Surrender, and then I'm gonna turn the stage over to the fabulous performers still to come. It's and 9.15 and we gotta be out by 10. All right, cool, thanks. I will uh, just play a couple more songs then. And uh, uh, we gotta be out by 10 or done by 10? That's a good, that's, that's a big difference. We gotta be out by 9.40, I remember. Oh, maybe packing up. Packing up by 9.40, okay. Well, I guess I don't have too much time for you then. Um, Two quick, two quick tunes. Um, here's a, here's a song off my CD, Never Surrender, and uh, it's got it over here on the table. So if you want to hear some more of this music, check it out. We're also performing. Me and Bonfire Madigan, the rock cellist who I'm on tour with, are performing tomorrow in Davis, which I hear is not too too far from here. The Davis Pike Collective, and uh, we'll be playing longer sets there. So come check it out if you're interested. And uh, this song is called the Adderall song. <laughs> Mrs. Greer, your son acts up in class. Ask the questions that you're not supposed to ask, Mr. Greer. It's pretty plain to see. Your son has got ADHD, and the doctors say he needs 30 milligrams of amphetamines. Go! years old. They put me on the pills. Want to focus me at school. Help me follow all the rules. And want to keep my tears away. Cause little boys should never cry. Want to help me through my day. Want to help me sleep at night. Want to help me sleep at night. And I had so few memories of what it was like before that I took those damn pills. 
Beatles every day since 1994. Now I recognize the system. I see what they're really for. I'm not giving you my money. I won't take them anymore. 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 I was in the dead center of the country When I popped my final pill I sold the rest of the bottle To these kids from Chicago They turned towards something new True story For the first time in my life I felt at peace with who I was I couldn't wait to share the new world out there With all the people that I love And I had so few memories of my was like before. The first week I went without them, felt like I had been reborn. Now I recognize the system, I see what they're really for. I'm not giving you my money, I won't take them anymore, anymore. See that coming, did you? <laughs> it's because I have ADD. <laughs> That's when I got to thinking about this society and how there's something wrong when a kid so young's put on amphetamines. I blamed my parents, then the doctors, then the schools. But if you want to fight back, look higher than that. At the filthy frat cat with the big contract. At those puppy killing labs, the results come back. Taking science fiction and calling it fact. And then they steal your hope and they sell it back. And if it screws you up, they don't give a crap. They can still drive home. Their Cadillacs make money off a game where the decks are stacked. If that's not enough, well, it's bigger than that. That's just one of this system's many attacks on you. So, what are we gonna do? So, I have so few memories of what it was like before that I could write this song with smoke in my lungs and a bottle on the floor. Now I recognize those systems. I see what they're really for. So I'm not giving you my money. I won't buy it anymore. All right. <laughs> well, I don't want to, and uh, you know, we can slowly start packing up. We'll be out, we'll be out in time. <laughs> Cause I want to hear these guys rock, it's totally awesome. And uh, this last song is the title track off the CD that I have with me, and it's called Never Surrender. And that's a sentiment that I've carried with me for a while, because it can be really easy to feel like nothing that we could possibly do could ever possibly be enough to overturn this uh, like mind-bogglingly giant interconnected web of oppression and exploitation that is the current state of our world, right? But I know one thing, I'd rather be hanging out with y'all than with them. <laughs> if that makes any sense to you. And I'd rather go down singing if we're gonna go down. So I hope you'll help me sing this song. Your part comes at the end and I think you'll catch on. So never surrender. Again, my name's Evan Greer. Come visit me on the table over here. I am on tour. This is how I support my family and my partner, my baby, and lots of social justice and queer liberation work in Boston. So come talk to me at least. I'd love to get to know you and stick around for more fabulous music to come. the days now. My dad's pond is overflowing. The orange fish are at the back door. Toxic flood water is glowing. And we shake our heads. And get in the car. Forget those things we the stars.
stars. Our complicity. They make beer and we buy it. They make cars and we drive them. They build walls and we just give in. They build boxes that we live in. They make gods for us to pray to. Jobs to give our days to. Binaries of gender. They won't have my surrender. No. <laughs> Just a city boy, born and raised in South Detroit. Took the midnight train going anywhere. See your little smoky room, the smell of wine and cheap perfume. For a smile, you can share the night. It goes on and on and on and on. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Street light, people are out. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Street light, people world around us and everything we see is crazy so we drink and we smoke and we watch the TV they say don't take your life so seriously I say this is the only way that I know how to be cuz we need passion not fashion we need food not lawns. We need action, not factions. We need everyone here to be singing along. We need stories, not glory. We need friends, not fans. We need guitars, not rock stars. We need more than just loud, drunk, straight, white, male, punk bands. So let's destroy out of love. Get our heads out of our asses See our lives are in danger You got it, it's the world as we know it It's not gonna last forever And these, they could be the last days So let's spend them together That's your part Let's spend them together Let's spend them together Right? Let's spend them together. Let's spend them and never surrender. Let's never surrender. Let's never surrender. Let's never surrender. Keep singing that. Let's never surrender. Don't stop. That's never surrender. Thank you very much. My name is Evan Greer. It's a pleasure to be here. Come check me out tomorrow at the Davis Bike Collective with Riot Girl legend Bonfire Madigan. And uh, we'll be back. Come sign up for the email list. It's the only way you'll ever hear about me again. <laughs>